Hey everybody, it's me, Will. I just wanted to let you know that this special episode of Guide to the Unknown features strong language, so listener discretion is advised. Hey guys, it's Kristen. And it's me, William. And we are popping in to tell you about a new podcast that you should definitely check out, because if you like us, one of us produced it. That's right, yeah. I've been working for the past year almost on a show called Earthbreak, a few suggestions for survival with additional hints and tips about how to make yourself more comfortable during the alien apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's written by Morgan Ormond. It's starring Jenny Slate. Yeah, it's a big, she's a celeb. Yeah, she is. I lost it. And directed by Aaron Katz. Uh, I'm very proud of this show. I'm yeah. so excited that it is finally out right now. Mm-hmm. It is out. You can go subscribe on Apple Podcasts, uh, wherever you listen to shows, and yeah. you'll get the first two episodes. I really hope that you'll do it and enjoy it. It's about one woman alone at the end of the world. She's struggling to survive, and then something happens that changes the way that she, I don't know, looks at her fate. Yeah, totally. It's super good. I've heard the first two episodes already, and it's funny, it's scary, and it's heartbreaking all at the same time. It's really, really good. I really hope you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a show that's very unlike other you know, audio dramas that exist out there. Yeah. We made it in a, a really crazily unconventional way. That's one of the coolest things about it to me. Yeah, we rented a farm in the middle of nowhere, essentially, mm-hmm. and Jenny Slate had a backpack full of supplies yeah. and a real crowbar strapped to the side, and we had her running up and down the road she threw herself on the ground she Aaron Katz blocked everything out as if we were shooting a movie Mm -hmm. and Jenny Slate I mean really like sacrificed her a lot of her own comfort to get real sort of raw authentic audio in the show yeah I think it really comes through and I'm I'm really proud of the fact that we took a chance yeah it's a really really cool different way to approach podcasting and audio dramas yeah Yeah. we've been fortunate enough that we just opened at the Tribeca Film Festival Mm -hmm. and I really hope that all of you out there if you like Guide to the Unknown if you like the stuff that we work on yeah please go check out Earthbreak it's at Earthbreak Pod on all social media available on all major podcast apps if you like the show please please tell people and Mm -hmm. please write a review yeah Uh, that's the way that we get to make Keep making cool stuff like this. Yeah, that. And if there are ads during it that kind of ping your interest, that really makes a huge difference in keeping shows like this coming out. It's a really big deal. It it feels a little gauche to talk about or whatever, but... I'm just going to tell you, like, these things take money pr- to produce, and the money comes from ads, and they can't be produced without those ads making money. Yeah. So I'm not bullying you into it, but if when you're listening to the show, you're like, oh, that actually sounds pretty good, instead of putting that in the back of your mind, if you care about this sort of entertainment and you want to keep it going, maybe go for it. Yeah. 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 I mean, quite frankly, the ads enable us to do this. Yes. So I understand how everyone feels about ads. Please. Uh, but they're important. Now that, you know, Will's been on the other side of it, we see how important it <laughs> they're is. They're super important, guys. Yes. So uh, we're going to play you uh, a clip from episode one of Earthbreak right now. Mm-hmm. It's about eight minutes. You're not going to get the full thing, so you're definitely going to have to go subscribe, but I really hope you enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you on another traditional episode of Guide to the Unknown mm-hmm. later this week. Yeah, that's okay. right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Testing, 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 one, two, three. I can't believe this thing still works. Shit, Margaret, you have a fucking ton of bullshit up here. This is such a fucking crap. Lay in! Wait in the car! We'll be right there! Jesus Christ. We have to get out of here. Josh says they're closing the bridges. They're shutting the whole thing down. Who the fuck is Josh? Josh Hennessy. On the radio? Okay, why don't you say the radio guy? Why are you acting like Lynn! he's... <sighs> they're quarantining the city. If we don't leave now, we will not be able to leave. Do you understand? Okay, yes, I fucking understand! Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna grab one thing. Did you get the walkie-talkies I or no? I couldn't find them. My mom was a fucking hoarder. This is I was sitting in boxes of shit up there. I'm sorry. I feel so
If I could only make you understand <laughs> Baby, won't you please come Oh. <coughs> oh man, I can't tell if I'm sick or hungry. Oh, but I really think I'm sick. Oh, I think I might throw up. Mm. Oh, well, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So then that's it. <laughs> That's it, I guess. I just... <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be too long now. If I'm starting to throw up, it's it's not going to be that long. I thought maybe that I was immune, but turns out maybe I was just took a little bit longer to get sick. <laughs> Which wouldn't be so rare if I was just lagging behind, <laughs> even at the end of the world. Uh, hi, hello, my name is Lynn Gellert, I am 31 years old, uh, I'm from Baltimore, and I'm dying, <laughs> or I don't know how much longer I have, um, but I was one of the lucky ones, I guess, because I didn't puke myself to death in the first few days, um, but it's been about a month <laughs> and I've just survived by dumb luck, I guess. Failing upwards. <laughs> That's what my mom used to say. <sighs> Maybe I am hungry. is my mother was my mother mm. if she could see me she would probably be like well Mrs. Radcliffe's daughter is fighting the alien menace what are you doing well Margaret I'm fucking cowering in an attic and I'm eating beans oh man I used to like beans. Oh, I can't do it. What else do we have? But Skittles, Snickers, chips, pretzels. Oh, man. I would literally murder someone for a fucking pear or an avocado. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting off track. Um, well, hello. I don't know who you are. Um, <laughs> but hopefully you made it to the other side of all of this. Or maybe you are a historian a thousand years in the future. Maybe you're a scientist and you're working on the cure. Um, or you're like a lady who's going to fly a nuke up into the mothership and Anyway, um, whoever you are, hello, and I'm hoping that whatever I record here helps with whatever. Um, so it started with a noise, but it was a noise that you couldn't really hear. But it was really loud. It just wasn't, it was kind of wavy, and you could 
feel the noise, but you could feel it deep within your bones, if that makes any sense. But it... Actually, I would say that it started when everyone got sick. And I don't know if you hear that, but it sounds like the hunters are out. Um, they all look a little bit different from each other. So it's strange. It's like you can tell that, uh, that they're individuals, but they all do the same thing, um, which is that they search and destroy. Last night was... Uh, rough and a hunter got into the house and uh i think it could smell me because it just ripped the place apart it's just completely fucking trashed in here and uh yeah i don't know what to say except for thank fucking god they can't figure out retractable attic stairs yet (laughs) probably saved me um okay but i made it through the night and i'm fine but this place is not safe anymore. (sighs) Time to move on.